I love downtown Bartow. Bartow is called the city of oaks and azaleas. And I've stopped to show you a house and some beautiful houses in little downtown Bartow. And where I've just stopped, I hear the sound of children happily yelling and playing. Sounds like a swimming pool. There's a glimpse of a house. Tin roof, silver. Yellow, yellow and light blue. There's a driveway apron right here. And there's also a driveway apron on the other side of the block that comes up to that garage. There are outbuildings in rough shape. These two tall cottages are fascinating separate buildings. A garage, a tall separate building, another separate building, and so many, so many rooms. It's listed as 10 rooms. Some really pleasant plantings. A wrought iron gate. A wrought iron gate for the side entrance. The porch is in rough shape and that would cause plenty of people to get in a huff and walk away. <clears throat> But a porch reconstruction project can be a remarkable and wonderful thing to engage in as a family. Clearly there's some soft roof and roof damage, but it has the, the shingle style operating in the upper section and a few chimneys. Now across the street, there is this, probably the greatest shingle style house in all of Bartow. And that is literally the view from the house. You have a view of the most wonderful mid-century house construction directly across the street to look at. You're not merely looking at junky worn out house house you are looking at a great shingle style and right down the street is this remarkable church building amazing church building the Bartow First Christian Church We've got balconies to sleeping porch and a lot of woodwork to take care of. Healthy banana trees. Remarkable round porch operations. A lot of woodwork to take care of. A lot. And then, as we go round the building, we discover there's, there's a swimming pool there's a swimming pool enclosed here, 
and we know that that is going to take lots and lots of work. Swimming pool, swimming pool pumps. There are four chimneys. Four, count them four. There is a quite large swimming pool. Four chimneys. Healthy banana trees. Literally a team of craftspeople. A team of craftspeople could cut their chops at this on this house and then sell their services to rich and influential people elsewhere who are purchasing unusual and wonderful homes. Second floor, sunrooms. There are sunrooms everywhere. The little garage and then Two separate outbuildings, poorly maintained, needing lots of attention. This is an enormous and marvelous project. Enormous and marvelous project. The boundary of the property comes straight out to here. With these outbuildings that begin at the white fence on the other side. This is totally the end of a block. This is a very large property. And one of my favorite houses in Bartow across the street, complete with a garage and a chauffeur's quarters. Another pretty, pretty view out the window. But this thing here, this shingle style, it's just lovely. And right down the street, there are two Mediterranean styles. Next to that, a Florida plantation style. And again, at the end of the block, the spectacular church. One of my favorite things about this shingle style house is these amazing creative craftsman style architectural brackets underneath that little dormer extension. Amazing. Small town America. Beautiful antique light lightning rods on the top. An oak lined street. Quiet not a through street, a, pl a place for children to play. And three, count them, three long driveways to hold various cars. And even a place for the horses to pull up. Oh, what does this say? This says, T, there's a block here. It says T.L. Wilson. The T.L. Wilson house. Hmm. I wonder if the Jeff Wilson could come to this place and give some evaluations. It's quite a project. It's 
quite marvelous. It's the corner of Stanford and Jackson. Stanford Street. Between Henry and Jackson. And I've forgotten the number. I'll put it in the title. Lovely, marvelous, unusual. Tosidi Katarepakoko. Bambari Kiriketeje. Tosibia Katarepako. Pesha Biakota. It's listed as ten bedrooms. Ten bedrooms. And it's surrounded by spectacular trees. And it needs a lot of work. This little This little outbuilding <clears throat> could easily be taken down and rebuilt in its same form. Barto, the city of oaks and, and azaleas. Coming together and creating a guild a guild of a guild of house restorers that can travel the country and do business with people who are able to see the work that we've done and to give us more excellent work Stamford Street, Bartow.